This past weekend marked a free fishing weekend through the DNR where Wisconsin residents could try out this sport for free without needing a license. First time anglers also need to be aware of PFAS contaminants in Madison Lakes. Will Keneally shares what you need to know ahead of the summer fishing season. Will. Eric, fishing in Wisconsin is a big economic driver with funds from fishing licenses going toward conservation efforts in the state. DNR officials hope that a low barrier of entry, a free weekend for instance, can help people try out the sport for themselves. It, so it's really important to keep the enthusiasm going here in Wisconsin for fishing. Which is why the Wisconsin DNR has been holding a free fishing weekend since the 1980s. In a handful of locations, that includes helping match potential anglers with loner fishing gear to help them try it out for the first time. We don't really have a little clicker um, going for every every place, but I, I know I saw a lot of people out this weekend. A lot of people were out fishing. For the DNR, that includes state parks, but we see many people fishing in lakes around Madison, too. If you're new to the fishing scene, just be aware of PFAS in the water. Yeah, that's a sad truth that our lakes are not what we would like them to be anymore. Statewide, the DNR recommends up to one serving per week for panfish and others like bass and catfish. Women under 50 and children should limit that to once per month for bass, walleye, and catfish, among others. In the Madison chain of lakes, the DNR has a PFAS advisory out for fish coming from Lakes Monona, Kiganza, and Wabisa. Some lower levels were found in Mendota and Wingra. The DNR, when they uh, report <coughs> bad eating uh, habits from the fish mm -hmm. habitats out here, we just listen to them and, and when it's good to eat them and when it's not. For the DNR's Teresa Stabo, fish are still a healthy part of our diets. She just wants people to be careful. There's nothing better than just pulling in a fish from your neighborhood lake and cooking it up that day. Now you can find a full list of DNR advisories on their website under the PFAS Topics tab. Will, thank you. State lawmakers continue to address PFAS in the Wisconsin water system. The Joint Finance Committee has set aside $125 million to combat PFAS. That's $18 million more than what the governor proposed. Today, the Senate Committee on Natural Resources and Energy held a hearing on a bill that would require the DNR to create a municipal PFAS grant program providing money for PFAS testing. The bill would also require the DNR to provide grants to people who own property with PFAS contamination who are not responsible for that contamination. It, it seems like folks are interested um, in proposing amendments and that, that you're certainly interested in hearing those proposals for them. The bill requires the DNR and the UW System Board of Regents to enter into an agreement to ensure the State Laboratory of Hygiene reduces the cost of conducting testing for PFAS.